From FX Empire, this is Chris taking a look at the natural gas markets. And you can see Nat Gas has broken the 200-day EMA now. Uh, whether it bounces or not, I think at this point in time, uh, I'm going to throw in the towel when it comes to that winter bounce. It probably will happen still. The problem is, is we keep losing 6 and 7% at a time. Now, for those of you who don't know, natural gas is driven almost solely upon weather conditions in the United States. And now they're calling for warmer than typical winter, which they weren't two weeks ago. And therefore, you can see the problem with trading this market. That being said, the one thing that is reliable is that there is over 14 trillion cubic feet of known natural gas to be extracted out of the ground in the United States. Um, so therefore, I, I think I read once there was a stat that we could power the entire planet if everything was switched over to natural gas, cars, factories, everything, for, for something like 330 years, just what's in the United States that we know about right now. Um, keep in mind, Canada has more. So natural gas is not a market that rallies except for when it gets really cold. And that becomes more or less a function of storage. You know, storage is full and demand continues to try to draw down, but they continue to fill it. That means there's only so much that can get to the market. It's really not a matter of demand. It's more or less a matter of storage. Well, the problem we're going to have now is that in about a month, we're going to start trading uh, springtime contracts. So we're going to start rolling in that direction. And that's when we start to sell off again. So I'm going to ignore the next push higher. I'm going to hope and pray we can get somewhere near 320 so I can start selling. But that might take a couple weeks.